introducing Shark Punch, an immersive virtual reality game in which you punch sharks in a real underwater environment with real punches. The primary motivation for this work is aquatic rehabilitation, that is, rehabilitation exercises performed in the water. Our innovations include a novel VR system that works underwater. The whole idea here is to increase the sense of presence through the use of the real medium, water, and utilize all five senses. For the visual sense, you can see a tracked stereoscopic view of the world, and you can look down at your body. You can hear the sounds, so the shark biting you, it swimming around. And you can hear the real sounds in the real water as well. There's a sense of touch, feeling the real water really maximizes your presence, it gives you extra resistance when you're punching. And you can really feel those shark bites when the phone vibrates. You can taste the snorkel, which admittedly doesn't taste very good. With a sense of smell, you can smell the chlorinated water in the pool. Just try not to get too immersed so you don't overdo the sense of smell. The system is made of several off the shelf components two cell phones, which are networked through a portable hotspot, a dive mask, which has the one of the phones mounted on front, and waterproof headphones. Once you have it all together, you're ready to punch some shucks. The head-worn display consists of a Speedo dive mask and a 3D printed VR to go from the MXR lab at ICT, strapped to the front. From a few field tests with a multiple sclerosis patient, we have learned to design a better VR system for aquatic rehabilitation. If you use it outside, it's much harder to see and you get a lot of extra reflections underwater. Also, the touch screen is basically impossible to use when it's wet. Wi-Fi is weak underwater, but it does work. Try to use internal sensors or external real buttons since the touch screen doesn't work. It's better to calibrate, take into account for the lens distortion caused by the water. And 3D sound can really enhance presence. Just make sure not to drop the earpieces into the water, even the waterproof ones. And in general, it's not a good idea to detach the main phone from the head mount. Sometimes we get a little too immersed. That all in all, it feels really good to punch that shark right in the nose.